Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody, live and direct from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the House Onik Backyard, and as of right now, we're looking at a beautiful afternoon out here. Quiet, winds are light, skies are blue with a few clouds patched into the area this afternoon, but otherwise not seeing too much of any other concerns across much of the area for right now. Maybe a few more thunderstorms coming our way in the semi-near future. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Our complete forecast information in the blue bar right there. Social media information just beyond the microphone right there in the red bar. And as you can see, just past 2.30 with the clock up on top, you can see it's just about early to mid-afternoon and things are looking good. Also, those icons there and also over there, that is where you can find me on social media. So if there's anything out there you'd like to contact me about, if there's anything you'd like to see on these blogs, please let me know. I would love to know a little bit more about what you would like to see on here, whether around the world, more climate data, more science information, what uh, weather and military outposts. You can check in and see what's going on at friends and loved ones around the world. We'd love to be able to do that, but I don't know what you would like to see until you tell me. So please let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com, and I'd be glad to let you know a little bit more about what we can do to make this your weather blog and see what's going on out there. I want to check out real quick a little bit of information going on where it comes to uh, traffic at this point, more than likely by the time you watch this at around rush hour this evening, as this is going to be a couple of hours old, the area back into and around uh, I-240 and Poplar, that's where we're seeing, again, some problems located into and around the area of I-240 and Poplar. Also still some slow activity going on into and around the area of Lamar as it heads on down toward the south and to the east. Some outbound traffic problems in those locations out there. So that could be bit of a concern into later on, but it looks like most of that travel is right around either side of I three of uh, Highway 385 and into much of the rest of the area. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem throughout the rest of the evening. Storm system passing is back on up to the north and east of us here in the Mid-South area, very close to uh, where that green circle is located on the earth.nullschool.net uh, graphic showing, again, very quiet conditions as high pressure moves over much of the area. We'll talk more about what we're going to be looking for in the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Quick side trip to Mars, looking again at temperatures in the lower to mid 20s across much of the area in and around Mars at the Remote Environmental Monitoring Station, which is the Curiosity rover. If you've never seen this before, definitely want to stay tuned and find out more about uh, what you can see at this location. But 23 degrees was the temperature just a few days ago at around the area close to, it looks like Saturday or Sunday on there. 23 was the maximum high. 103 degrees below zero was the low temperature of the air. And that was at the Remote Environmental Monitoring Station. If you'd like to see more about weather on other planets, all you have to do is go to mars.nasa.gov to find out more about what's going on on Mars at this point in time and keeping up to date with weather on a daily basis there. But they post this information every once in a while. So it might be a little bit irregular out there. Currently seeing nothing in the way of earthquakes, nothing at least taking place within about the last uh, 24 hours or so. Very quiet indeed on the New Madrid Fault, so that's always good news. This information courtesy of United States Geological Survey and also the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. Thanks very much to everybody there for doing a great job of keeping everybody informed of earthquakes, the science, the education, all that going on. Great opportunity to learn more from from a great bunch over at the University of Memphis. Currently not seeing any major concerns on problems, the usual backups and delays on the vector cameras from Vanderbilt University. And as of right now, everything appears to be moving along relatively well. We're just not seeing anything in the way of major concerns for now. But once again, this is pre-rush hour, so we could see some more backups uh, taking place into the rest of the day, especially as we get into around later on this afternoon. More of our webcams available at wreg.com com slash webcams and you can see more out there from the Weatherbug network great opportunity to see more cameras in and around the mid-south activated and ready for you to take a look at now we also have again uh, some information on the river stages we're starting to see some more river uh, situational problems just north of us at this time and we're looking back up around the uh, Missouri boot heel uh, the Mississippi River at Carothersville that yellow line that you see way up there as that curve the arc goes goes upwards. It is going into what is called uh, action stage. That's kind of a 
t- a type of flooding, but it's not a major move everything to higher ground situation. It just means that farmlands around portions of the riverbanks are going to be affected by higher water. Now, it also looks like, again, over the next few days, it's cresting now, or at least in the next few days, so it's going to be heading back downwards again, so good news on that. Likewise, as we look back toward Osceola, Arkansas, cresting, moving up into around the area of uh, the action stage level and then curving back downwards again as that area of water makes its way down the Mississippi River. In Memphis, you can also see that arc going upwards and then heading back downwards again as the readings and the forecast show uh, over there on that por- portion of the screen. This is the reading for Memphis, and it looks like it's going to be staying below action stage. So good news on that. But it's again, something to watch out if you are in contact with the river, as in property, things like that. It could be some more minor flooding going on on either side of the riverbank. So this could be something to uh, take a look at if you're going to be doing anything in the way of working along the river in the next couple of days. This information, courtesy of the Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Service, tons of information available. Uh, If you'd like to know more about what's going on, we have, again, tons of data available through here, so please check it out and find out more. Radar is completely blank. We're not showing anything. This from Penn State University's meteorology branch and showing, again, little, if anything, even near the Mid-South at this time. Over the next couple of days, we should be seeing again some fairly nice weather out there. No major problems being seen by midnight tonight. New storm system making its way uh, into around the area of the midsection of the country, not causing us any problems. As it gets a little bit closer to us, we may see some rainfall uh, by tomorrow at noon right around the area close to uh, central Arkansas, but otherwise nothing major again. And some of that rainfall looks like most of it actually is going to lift north of us, but by Friday into around Friday evening, that's where we may see a few sprinkles left over from this and that system again making its way on out of the picture so hopefully not a major concern for us but we'll be watching that with a lot of interest it's also going to be getting a lot warmer out here as the winds come up out of the south with that warm front the red line with the uh, red half circles on it making its way back up that direction and going to continue heading up into the upper Mississippi Valley into the next couple of days. So that's something, again, to watch out for there. Let's take a look and see what's going on where you are and into the rest of the evening tonight. Again, I don't see any really uh, major concerns going on. Low temperatures this evening, lower 50s around Union City, Jackson, upper 50s, Jonesboro, Memphis, Clarksdale, and back toward the Tupelo area. Uh, Cloud cover tonight looks like it's going to be a little bit more clouds starting to make their way in by late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Let's go into tomorrow, Thursdays, high temperatures, upper 70s to lower 80s across much of the Mid-South and continuing a very warm spate of days out there with no rainfall to be seen and a few more clouds out across the area, probably a little bit more clear in the morning and then toward afternoon we'll be looking at those clouds starting to increase from west to east across much of the area. Thursday night, low temperatures dropping only into the upper 50s to around the lower to mid 60s. Uh, Rainfall chances not being seen throughout the area on Thursday or Thursday night. High temperatures on Friday going back again into the lower 80s. And that's where we start to see by afternoon on Friday. Not much going on in the morning, but by Friday afternoon, that passing storm system going way up north of us might swoop in a little bit of rainfall. And it looks like right now most of that is going to be along and north of the I-40 corridor. So we might get some in and around the Memphis metro area, but it looks like most of that activity should stay north of the Mid-South and just not looking at too much out there. By Friday night, it looks like everything's pretty much gone right on into Saturday morning, and low temperatures on the cool side, but not bad, back in the lower 60s across much of the area as we get into the next few days. No severe weather expected, according to the Storm Prediction Center. We're showing nothing in the way of severe weather taking place, so definitely good news on that. So no problems at all being seen so far, but once again, at this time of the year, even though we're in the waning days of severe weather season, the prime severe weather season for this time of the year, January through about early May, this is the time to watch any of these storms systems that come on through to make certain that you are prepared for what goes on when it comes to severe weather. So we'll be keeping our eyes on that so you keep attuned to the weather experts and we'll let you know a little bit more about what's heading our way. Also stay tuned again to my social media pages. They're all available up there and also again you can see 
more information about what's going on in the Mid-South through uh, Twitter and Periscope and all kinds of other social media. So keep it tuned to all these locations and we'll keep you advised when it comes to what's going on here in the Mid-South where it comes to anything involving uh, what's happening with weather, science, all kinds of neat stuff like that. I want to tell you about one thing we're going to be giving this a try and see. Uh, how everybody reacts to this. Uh, talking about science is one of my favorite things. Again, weather, huge weather nerd, geek, dork, whatever you want to call me. And I'll be glad to let people know a little bit more about what's happening. Astronomy is one of my favorite things. And so we're going to be trying the weather overtime thing with this. May not be doing it every single day, but we will be giving it a try and letting you know a little bit more about what's going on with what you can see in the skies now and over the next several days and weeks. If there's something major coming up, uh, like the eclipse that's going to be happening in and around August of this year, the solar eclipse, that's going to be a big, big thing coming our way. Hopefully the skies stay clear for that. But we're going to try to update you on what's going on with weather in the Mid-South, with weather overtime time and then skyblog 3 a good opportunity to learn more about what's going on with the mid-south when it comes to astronomy whether it's free and open meetings uh, observation platforms whether it's Kennan observatory at old miss or with the memphis astronomical society we'd like to let you know about it and this will be one of the ways that we do it we'll try to post that as much as possible to wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to find out more about that that'll wrap it up for this edition the wednesday afternoon edition of weather overtime. Stay tuned for more with Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers coming up later on this evening. And of course, Todd Demers will have more in your complete forecast as we get into early tomorrow morning. Live and direct on YouTube, Periscope, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online, and we'll keep you informed.